Well, art is one thing, but real life is king. And this is the real Lester Bangs. It's one of the rare on-camera appearances Lester ever made. And he's talking about stuff that's very important to him. He's very passionate, and he's very Lester. And this is from the era that the movie is set in, and I, I think you'll see traces of what Philip Seymour Hoffman was inspired by when you watch the real Lester. Take it away, Lester. Avoiding the point, you know, of avoiding the real conflict and grappling with the real problem, which is what the hell are we going to do musically now? You know, raucous theater is the same old music, the same old gunk dressed up in new clothes. You know, with a, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I saw Jethro Tull where they had one member of the band got in a bunny rabbit suit and hopped across the stage. Uh, and all the audience is there in gigs. You know, I felt real alienated watching this, you know, because I just didn't, <laughs> and, uh, whatever that bunny rabbit and that boom, boom, storm, boom, drawn that they were putting down there was supposed to represent, it didn't communicate to me. The leader of the group is this fellow named Brian Ferry who uh, is possibly the most vacuous excuse for a superstar that has yet been presented to us. Now, uh, you know, like I became a big Roxy Music fan when they did Stranded, and uh, after that it was my unfortunate experience to meet Mr. Ferry at a party where uh, I want to go up and say, Brian Ferry, you're my hero, I love you, you know, a great record. This fellow, this man was so bland that he was standing there in this white tuxedo with a cigarette in his hand, you know, not saying anything. You know, somebody should have shoved him in a corner, shoved the martini in his hand and forgotten about him. Let's take Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Here is like musical sterility um, at its pinnacle. A band that, you know, has absolutely no soul. There's nothing, there's no feeling in the music. It's, they, the, uh, the objective is to play preset solos as fast as you possibly can, um, breakneck speed, and do it for about five hours. It's like waiting for the Renaissance, you know, when everybody thinks that it has to happen. Uh, it's commonly said that every, you know, 10 years there's a big star and it's in the middle of the decade. Uh, Dick Clark said this in an interview I did once. He said, well, you know, there was Sinatra in the 40s and there was Elvis in the 50s and the Beatles in the 60s and now's the time and that was two years ago and nothing has happened.